Uh, it's great to see the nine of you in here. Um, thank you for taking the time this morning to log in and, and join the, the Zoom meeting. Uh, it's good to first or finally meet you. Uh, I've been sending emails for the last week to you, so sorry for all of that, uh, all of the text that you've been asked to read. But welcome, welcome to the class. Um, I'm going to be getting emails from time to time here, and from students. Jean uh, just email me. Okay, so I might have to do that from time to time with other students trying to join who are having problems. Um, but uh, yeah, so I just wanted to say first, just a big welcome. My name is Tony Love. I'm a third year graduate student here at University of Albany uh, studying mathematics. Um, if you care to know, I, I am starting to specialize, starting to do my research in the area of machine learning. Um, and so uh, I've, and also I've got a family here. Uh, I'm married and I've got two kids. I've got a third kid on the way. Uh, my two current children are both girls and this third one will be a boy. Uh, and I see Nick Lane is on here. Uh, Nick has the exact same initials as my new baby boy. Um, so that was really coincidental. Uh, Nick asked in a, re in a reply email what the baby's name was gonna be and I said, sorry. No can do, um, but I'll be able to tell you here after the 31st, that's when the, hopefully the, the, the due date is. Um, so uh, with that, uh, I just want to get started with, with the topics today. Um, we're going to go through the class syllabus. That'll give you a good overview of what this class will be like, and we'll go through the course calendar, something some things about online and in-person uh, class meetings, and we will also go over WebAssign and Blackboard. Now, after all of these, there will be a question and answer time related to what I just discussed. So if you have questions along the way, you can jot them down on a piece of paper, or you can put them in the chat for this meeting, and that'll, that'll give us an ongoing record of everything that's happening here. Um, so, uh, with that, we'll move on to the syllabus. So let me pull that up here. I was going to do it on notability, but it was being slow. So here we go. Here we go, you should be able to see now the syllabus on your screen. So again, my name is Tony Love. Uh, this class is AMAT 100 Pre-Calculus Section 7731. If this is not the class you're supposed to be in, well then you can go find your, the right class. I feel like every professor has to say that at the beginning of the year. Um, but yeah, here we are, Pre-Calculus. Uh, I presume many of you have taken uh, three years of high school mathematics, or you've received some special permission from the math department for uh, your entrance into this class. Uh, we will be having office hours on a regular time, normally Monday and Thursday from 8 to 9.20. Uh, but this first day was at 10. I wanted to, to let you sleep in a little bit. Uh, and class hours are technically from 8 to 9.20 uh, on Wednesdays. But for the first two weeks here, as you've seen in the emails, we'll, we'll be moving those to Zoom. Class will be held in Lecture Center 22. Okay. Let me reply to a quick email from a student having troubles getting in. So where was I? Uh, we will normally be meeting in Lecture Center 22. It's a big room right around the fountain in the middle of campus. Uh, so uh, if you need directions on there, there's, there's maps online. 
that you can use, but Lecture Center 22 normally. Uh, we'll skip the course description. Uh, you're going to find out pretty quick what we'll be doing. Uh, systems of equations, functions, logarithms, trig, stuff like this. Uh, the textbook is purchased online through WebAssign and Cengage. If you want a physical copy, you can get a physical copy, but that is unnecessary because it comes with your WebAssign subscription. We'll look through that a little bit later. Uh, I'll show you how to find that book on WebAssign. Uh, some of these required materials are uh, rather obvious, I think, but you need a good internet connection for Zoom video, and you need a high enough data cap that you're not throttled uh, you know, within one week of the course, uh, uh, because there will be a lot of video streaming surveys, things like this that you need the internet for. Uh, also, to use that internet, you'll need a computer, tablet, phone, something that you can use uh, to access material. A big thing here is WebAssign. I've been keeping up to date on who is already a part of the class on WebAssign. And last time I checked, there were six of us. There are now nine of us. So maybe all nine of us here logged on, we'll see. But you need to get a WebAssign subscription. So on this syllabus, I've provided you with the link. Um, it's right here, WebAssign.net. And the class key is right here, Albany 47464547. This is how you join the class, okay? All of our homework, all of our quizzes, all of our tests, with the exception of maybe the final uh, exam, will be on WebAssign, not on Blackboard. They'll all be on WebAssign. Um, you'll need Zoom, you obviously have it. Uh, calculators, I have to say this, despite the fact that I cannot enforce this one bit. Calculators are not allowed for the course. <laughs> what you do behind a Zoom camera that's not on, that's up to you. So I have to say it, but they're not allowed. Uh, cell phone policies, you're gonna have to use your cell phone at various times in this class, maybe for joining into Zoom, maybe for even using WebAssign or whatever, but in class on Wednesdays when we actually meet for that, uh, we'll try and keep our cell phone usage down so that distractions are down, okay? Uh, class policies for actually coming to class, not being disruptive during class. Um, these are all in here. A couple things just to uh, point out. Um, I, think it'd be, if, I think it's a great thing if you're a religious person. Um, please let me know in advance when you might be missing a Wednesday class <clears throat> or when you might need extra time uh, to handle a, an assignment group uh, or things like this, okay? I'm more than happy to accommodate you there. Um, uh, I just wanted to accommodate you there uh, with that. So just let me know in advance. It doesn't have to be, you know, really within this first two weeks. If you, you know, see something coming up next week, just let me know, okay? It's, it's pretty easy to move due dates around uh, with WebAssign. Um, attendance, for the first time in the history of this class, history, the history of this class, you don't actually have to come to class. <laughs> this whole, uh, this whole COVID-19 thing is, is COVID-19 thing is changing everything. So class attendance is not mandatory. It's recommended uh, coming on Wednesdays, but it is not actually mandatory. Um, a couple things that I will count as attendance, um, that's doing your homeworks on WebAssign and taking quizzes on WebAssign. Uh, if you are not doing your assignments and not doing your quizzes, I'm gonna treat that like you're not actually showing up to class. Now there's this, this university policy of uh, during the first week. So if you miss the old policy is if you miss all the day, all the class meetings during the first week of class, you're dropped from the class automatically. So I'll go in and I'll say, uh, forgive me, AJ, but AJ wasn't there in class the entire first week. Uh, he's gone. Okay. Uh, you'll just be dropped. You won't have a say in it. Um, what I'm going to, what I changed that policy to, since we're not meeting the first week, none of us are. What I'm changing that policy to is if you don't come on Wednesdays and if you don't do any of the homework that's due the first week. So I'm gonna treat 
accomplishing your homework as attendance. So just do one of them, do two of them, do three of them. They're all due on Friday, so you've got time. Um, and we'll get to that a little bit later. But if you do your homework, you're not gonna be dropped. Just plain and simple, okay? Um, if you don't have the ability to complete homework, please just email me, okay? I can give extensions uh, if you need them. Exams, there's gonna be two exams for this class plus the final exam. So the two exams, uh, they'll be over chapters uh, one and two, and then the next one over three, four, and five. The final exam will be cumulative or over all of them. It'll be given during the, uh, the end of the semester during that final exam period. Um, these exams will all be on WebAssign, as I've said before. Um, the final might be on, uh, with pen and paper, might be. Currently, it will be on WebAssign. That's, that's what we're planning currently. Um, we'll get to grade proportions here in a second, but the final is the biggest chunk of your grade. That's 25% of your grade. Um, there's other information in here about it. If you want to read this on your own later, we can do that, but okay. Quizzes. This is important, I guess. Quizzes, we're going to have one a week, uh, and you'll see in the course calendar that they're going to be on Mondays. So your first quiz is actually next Monday, week from today. Um, they're going to be open all of Monday. So you'll just have to log on sometime on Monday uh, next week and take the quiz. It'll be timed. Um, so you'll only have, when, whenever you sit down to do it during that 24-hour period, uh, you'll only have 10 minutes to complete it. Uh, but you have, you know, the entire day to plan ahead and say, oh, I'm going to take it from 12 to 1210. Uh, that's up to you. Um, there are currently 11 quizzes, and the worst one is going to be dropped from grade computations. So if you don't take it, if you don't take one of them, it might not impact your grade at all, uh, if, as long as you do all the other 10. Um, homework. Homework is going to be given throughout the whole semester, and usually there's three assignments per week, uh, which brings us to a total of 36 assignments. Uh, three of these, I say at least three of these will be dropped from grade computations, maybe more. Uh, I might just take a look at everything at the end of the class and say, well, nobody did four of them, so we're dropping all four, <laughs> but we'll see. You get at least three dropped from the grade computations. Now, I wanted to highlight this second paragraph in the homework um, because this is, this is for your benefit and for your detriment. Uh, that's the paragraph here. So assignments are all due Friday at 11.59 p.m. That's one minute before midnight. Um, if you turn your assignments in for the week, Thursday night before midnight, you will get an extra 10% of credit. So you can get 110% on every homework assignment this semester if you, if you do them perfectly and you've turned them in 24 hours before the due date. And this is per assignment. So for all two or three due at the end of the week, you could get one of them. Uh, you could have one of them uh, be 110 and you could have the other one be 100, you know, whatever it is, however you, you turn them in. Now, if you need more time, you can also uh, ask for extensions. Uh, in WebAssign, I'll show you how to do this later, you can just request an extension for a specific assignment. Uh, I have given a seven-day window so the assignments are due this Friday. If you don't finish them, you have seven days after that due date to request an extension. The extension time is just 24 hours. Um, so from the point you request the extension, you'll get a full day to complete that assignment. So it, what I would do is when you're ready to do it within that week after, request the extension then. Uh, complete it right then and there and you'll be done. Then go to the next assignment that you need the extension for, request it when you're ready to do it, do it, and then, and then you'll be done. Um, those extensions, they are granted automatically. Last semester, I, with, with the whole change to moving online, um, I had to request over, I had to uh, manually grant over 200 extensions for homework. Uh, 
that's a lot. So this semester, I'm just making it automatic. If you request it within the first seven days after the due date, you will be given the extension. If you need more extensions, those I will do manually. So you'll just have to email me and specifically ask me for the extension. Um, I will be less lenient with those um, because I've given you a full week of extension just automatically. Um, and I'll be less, did I say more, more lenient? I'll be less lenient with the further extensions. Um, also, this extension gives you a 20% penalty. Uh, so it's definitely to your benefit to complete the assignments on time or before time. Um, there might be questions on that later on, uh, but uh, just let me know. So now we're getting to absences due to religious observances. So this is, as I said before, uh, I'm more than happy to give um, extensions or grant absences for uh, religious observances. Um, there's New York State laws for this. There's uh, U University of Albany uh, laws for things like this. Uh, just, you know, let me know ahead of time. That, that makes this easier for everyone involved. Um, religious observances are rarely emergency situations. So, uh, <laughs> but, but I can't limit this. Maybe there's an emergency a religious observance. Just let me know as soon as you can. Uh, in that case, and we'll we'll work it out. Good morning or good evening, Mariel. Is it Mariel? Mariel? Um, it's Mariel. Mariel. <laughs> uh, I sent you an email a while ago stating that I wouldn't be able to join, but it just took a long time. Yeah. Well, here you are. <laughs> so apologies. welcome. No problem. That's fine. Um. Uh, so here we are on the syllabus and the makeup policy. Uh, makeup work for quizzes and, and exams are only given in this one situation, uh, verified medical or documented emergencies, religious observances, and at, the, and at my discretion. So, uh, you know, if you get sick, that's, that's unavoidable. Uh, just send me an email, okay? As soon as you can, just send me an email and we can work out if you need extensions, how long these extensions need to be. Um, things like this, okay? It says at my discretion uh, because that's the university's actual policy. Uh, I'm generally quite giving for things like this. So just ask and you'll probably receive, okay? Um, it's, it's, it's totally fine to, to need extensions. Um, let's see, make up homework. Oh, I, just this second paragraph I added in, you know, I said you only get a seven day extension window. Um, but, uh, you know, if you have some emergency and you need more than seven days, that's fine. You just got to let me know. Uh, otherwise, I won't know if you need it. Okay. Um, okay. I am losing Zoom connection from time to time here with my iPad here. So if, if it seems like I'm stopping, it's because I've lost connection myself. So here we go, grading and assessment criteria. So here's everything for, uh, for the actual grades of the class. Uh, the grade scale is your typical you know, A, B, C, D, and E, or F, if you're more used to that. Uh, 90 to 100, 80 to 89, 70 to 79, 60 to 69, 0 to 59, okay? Um, what about the in-betweens, the 89.1 to 90 or 89.99? Uh, that's usually where I take a little bit of instructor uh, freedom at the end of the course and I, I look back at your you know, performance, your attendance, and I say, yeah, they get the A or no, they get the B. Um, Okay, so there's a little bit of ambiguity in here, but uh, but that's uh, that's fine. It'll, it'll be for your benefit more than likely at the end of the class. Grade distribution: homework is 15%, quizzes are 20%. There's two exams; each of them are 20%. That's to that's a total of 40% of your total grade, and then your final exam at the end is 25%. Um, disability accommodations. Um, if you have a disability, 
and you need accommodations, uh, that's, that's great. I, am, I would love to work with you for those accommodations. Um, please let me know as soon as possible uh, so, that I can, so that I can determine what, what I should do for you. Um, I'll get in contact with the DRC if, if needed uh, in order to get you the resources that you need for this class. Um, I, I, really, I really want to work with you with these. Um, academic honesty. You know, this is a really difficult time uh, to take classes, and especially it's a difficult time uh, as a professor to, to know whether or not, you know, you as the student are being honest uh, with your work. Um, and it's very difficult for me to know if you're being academically honest, especially in a math class where, honestly, you could search up pretty much every problem online and find an answer right away. Uh, you can read the, the, the text here. If I, if I come up, uh, if I come into finding somehow that you've been dishonest with your homework or quizzes or tests, um, the full force of the, the, the University of Albany's uh, academic integrity statement will be behind me. Uh, so please, uh, you know, <laughs> do your best to resist that. You know, what's the answer to on your phone? Because on the off chance that I, that I somehow find out, uh, it will not be good for you. So please do your best to maintain your integrity and your character during this time of, um, this time of study. Uh, the next part I'm, I'm not going to go through. I can tell I've lost my connection again. I'm not going to go through this small little part next because it's just about a bunch of the things that we're gonna go through. I'm just gonna skip down to classroom health and safety. And then we're basically through this whole thing and we'll, I'll, let, I'll open it up for questions and answers. Um, this is straight from the university's website. So thank you for all of the things that you will do in order to keep uh, all of us safer during this time of the pandemic. Um, it does not apply for times like right now in our you know zoom meeting but when we meet on wednesdays uh, these things will be very important um so let me go through these things with you uh so that we can you know, be as safe as possible with each other um for me it, it takes even more importance with my wife she'll have a cesarean section for her for this birth coming up on the 31st probably and uh, so she'll be recovering for the next month from abdominal surgery. And I'll also have a newborn child that won't have any immunity for it from anything uh, for several, several weeks. Um, so to keep my own family safe, please uh, take, these, take these health policies to heart and, and apply them. So in class, uh, first, uh, please be sure that you're wearing your face mask and wear it during the whole class period. I know it'll be uh, a difficult thing, especially when you maybe feel like you can't breathe or whatever, but I assure you that you can. Um, I've been wearing a mask as much as possible for my pregnant, pregnant wife's benefit. So, um, so please do that. Um, when we're in class, please make sure that you keep your distance uh, from others. They say at least six feet. That'd be great if you can maintain that. For the most part, I'll be up at the front of the room and in lectures 20, Lecture Center 22, where we'll be in class, uh, I'll, I'll be able to stay at least 15 feet from you. Um, but also, you know, when you're entering and exiting classrooms, uh, that, that can be a time where maybe you'll be running into people. You know, just be patient as people are exiting the room. Uh, let them go first or second or whatever it is. We will typically exit the class from the back first. And then the people in front will, you know, go out last. It'll sort of be a, a first in, last out procedure. Um, okay. And that's it for the syllabus. So uh, I'm going to open it up now. If you had any questions from the syllabus, now is your chance to ask those. And, uh, and I will be able to answer your questions. I just have a quick question about the in-class social distancing. Yes, sir. 
since we're going to be doing like physical, are we going to have any physical hand-ins for the course? There will not be any physical hand-ins for the course. Okay. So then that, I was going to ask you like, would we have a specific place to put that stuff? But if there isn't any, then I guess that answers the question. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. You're just to go a little more on that. Your homework will be on WebAssign. Your quizzes are on WebAssign. Those two tests are on WebAssign. The only possibility is that for the final exam, you will be emailed a PDF of the final exam and you will write out by hand on a piece of paper and then send me pictures of your final exam. That's the only thing that you might actually have to print out or write down on paper for this class. And even still, you won't be turning that paper in, just pictures of it. Are there any other questions? Thank you, Brendan. Um, I have a question. So this Wednesday, we're on Zoom? This Wednesday, we're on Zoom, yes. Okay. So starting next Wednesday, we'll be in person. Even next Wednesday, we are on Zoom. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll go through the calendar. That's next on the list. Okay. Maybe I'll, I'll put that back up. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'll put the, uh, the, the outline here for you so that you can see what's coming up. Okay, other questions? Um, I just wanted to ask, how basic are we starting from? Because I took my last math course my first year of my associate's degree, so I haven't taken a math course in a while. So are, are there going to be refreshers in terms of calc? I, okay, that's a great question. Uh, maybe I should have spent more time on what we'll be covering <laughs> for your sake. Um, yeah, we're this class starts pretty basic. Uh, the first lessons are learning about different kinds of numbers, Brendan. So uh, this goes way back, way, way back. Um, yeah, it doesn't go back so far as, you know, I draw the number one on the screen and ask you, what, what number is this? It doesn't do, we don't go that far back. Um, but we do talk about different kinds of numbers. We talk about uh, intervals on the number line. We talk about just, orders of operations with arithmetic and then we move into lines looking at linear equations and solving those we look at fractional equations um, these are you know equations with fractions in, in them so you have to solve with fractions or proportions and then you know things start to get a little bit higher level um, but hopefully by that time uh, you know you're, you're getting back into the swing of things so, Brendan, that's good to know. That this, so, you, you have your associate's degree. What's your, what was your associate's in? Um, health sciences. Great, great. Did you have a job for a while after that? Oh, uh, yeah. I worked in the hospital for okay. a good amount of time. Great. Awesome. Yeah, I'm a non-traditional student as well, so if you will. So, it's, it's good to, it's nice to meet you, Brendan. It's nice yeah. to meet you, too. Any other questions about the the syllabus, otherwise we'll move on to the calendar. Um, hi, I have a question. Yes, Mario. Um, so are the quizzes gonna be on WebAssign or on Blackboard? It's all on WebAssign, yep. All on WebAssign, okay. Yep. So, right, if I'm not mistaken, we have a quiz on Monday, next yep. week. One week from today, okay. yep. Okay, thank you very much. Yep. Okay, let me go ahead and start with the course calendar. Uh, and if you think of other questions along the way, just, just chime in. You can type them in the chat as well, and I'll see them there, okay? Um, so the course calendar, here we go. I wanted to make one document for you that sort of had every single, um, every single due date, every single major occurrence for the class on it. And then because I had too much time on my hands, I color coded it. So there you go. 
if I can find a way to zoom on here, I will do that. Uh, but this is on Blackboard. This is on uh, in your email inboxes as well. The course calendar, uh, as you can see, has all the times for office hours. Those are highlighted in green. So we've got every Monday and every Thursday office hours. Today is the only time when it's different. Normally it'll be 8 to 9.20 in the morning. Um, you can see those throughout the whole class, just all the way down. Okay, and as you can see as well, homework is always due on Fridays. That never changes. So this Friday, we've got two assignments, one for section 1.1 and one for section 1.2. This is all on WebAssign. You can see for the rest of the semester that every homework, you know, it's due Friday. So we've got three next Friday, three after that, three, 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 it's just, we, we just keep going with three assignments all the way to the end, basically. Um, let's see what else is there on here. We've got class meetings. I highlighted these in red. This Wednesday and next Wednesday, we'll have Zoom meetings. Um, my wife's C-section is right here, scheduled for the 31st. Um, so that office hours, that's going to be a crazy Monday for me. I'm going to get online for office hours. And then at 9.20, I'm logging off in order to, uh, yes, Brendan, our next class, 8 a.m., yes. Um, our next, after this next Monday is office hours, I'm going to get in the car and drive to the hospital. So it'll be that fast for me. Um, so... Uh, I, ha I have to meet this one just because of the precautions the hospital is taking with COVID. Um, and then this one, my wife will still be in the hospital uh, recovering, uh, still recovering from her surgery. And so I will be uh, unable to be at school for that. Now, the first in-person will be right here, September 9th. Um, and those are scheduled from 8 to 9.20. So I thought we would just keep the Zoom class at that time as well. Um, and those will be live, but I will record them so that you can see them uh, at a later time if you want, okay? Uh, forgive me for this pronunciation, Miss Drummond, but Diasia, Diasia? Diasia, yes. Diasia, good morning. It's nice to have you here. Morning, um, I've been recording this whole thing, so and I'll post it afterwards for you to see. If you, you missed going through the syllabus, we're just going through the course calendar now. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yep. Um, so let's see, two other big dates. Let's see. It's right here, October 5th and November 2nd. Those are our two test dates. So everything up until those dates, as you can see, this will be covering chapters one through two here. And then we'll have the test on, this, on the 5th. And then we're covering chapters three to five and then we'll have the test there. Again, these will be on WebAssign. They'll be open for 24 hours, um, unless you complain loudly enough, and then I'll open them up for more time than 24 hours. So, but the start time will definitely be right here at the start of these days, and they will end at the end of these days. Again, unless you complain enough, and then I can definitely open them up for maybe two days if, if you want or need. Um, but I think 24 hours is enough. Those tests will be timed. Um, the, we haven't nailed down in the department exactly how long, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same as it was last semester. They were just the time of class, so an hour and 20 minutes. Um, so, so at some point in that 24 hours, you'll need to set aside an hour and 20 minutes to take the test. Um, so you can, you can determine when that is, when you won't have any interruptions, but you'll have just that amount of time to take the tests. Um, let's see, the last day of class is, is a Tuesday, which means we don't get our Wednesday of that week and we don't get our Thursday office hours of that week either. Um, this is the travel time for you to get back home and prepare for finals. And then there's a finals week at the very, 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 very end. Um, our final 
will be given at some point during that time. It'll probably be like the test where, you know, it's, it's available for a certain period of time. You just log into WebAssign and take it, or I'll send the email and at some point in the next you know, 24 or 48 hours, you'll take the paper test, scan it with, or take pictures of it and return it back. Okay, so at some point in that week. Um, finals week ends December 7th, and I will have grades posted no later than the 10th. Um, because everything is online, the grade book is, the grade book which is in WebAssign, by the way, not Blackboard. Uh, the grade book on WebAssign is already set up, and you'll be able to see in real time your grades uh, updating. I, I'll be posting final grades by the 10th. But really, after you take that final exam, you know, here, whenever it is in this finals week, if it's on WebAssign, you'll see, uh, unless there are issues with, you know, the, the, the test, one of the answers not accepting your correct answer or something like that, um, you'll pretty much know, okay? Uh, and then maybe, as I said with the syllabus, you know, if you're sitting right there on the edge in between, you know, that 89% and that 90%, um, I'll go through and I'll look at past, past behavior, past attendance, past grades, past, you know, did you do everything early or were you constantly requesting extensions, things like this. And then I'll make the, the instructor decision one way or the other. So final grades for sure by the 10th. This calendar is on Blackboard. It is also uh, in your inboxes. I've sent emails to you with this. Um, and I think that's it for the calendar. So do you have any questions? Real quick, I see Brendan asks, are we taking the finals remotely? Uh, yes, the, the final exam will either be on WebAssign, which you can take you know, at any computer anywhere in the world, wherever you wanna take it, except in certain countries where you will need a virtual private network. Um, oh, you mean all finals, not just this class. That's up to the individual instructor. Uh, for pre-calculus, we are all going to take them in the same manner, I think, whether that's uh, through WebAssign or via pen and paper and then scanning. Uh, for your history class, for your social justice class, I have no idea. <laughs> that's, that's up to everyone else. What I do know is uh, what, what I'm pretty sure of, maybe someone knows better than me at this point, uh, the last day of class, November 24th, I, I think people are supposed to be moving. This is a moving week. So moving out of the dorms, back home. And then this right here, December 30th, sorry, no, November 30th, uh, I think it's expected that you're wherever it is you're moving to, and then you're taking it, yes, remotely, I guess, throughout this week. I don't know what that looks like. Um, I'm sure more information will come from the university about that throughout the semester. Uh, I think that we've got like a moving time period here and here. Um, if you have to stay in the dorms, uh, maybe they're making accommodations for that but that's not a decision that I make and it's not something that I've, <laughs> I've not, you know, read extensively on. So sorry, I can't really answer that question fully. Are there other questions about the calendar? Um, will we have access to this all the time? What is this, access to the calendar? Yes, the calendar. Yeah, so this is on Blackboard um, and you can download it there. Um, I've also emailed it to you, uh, when was that? Let's see, it was sometime last week, and you could probably search class calendar. It was Tuesday the 18th, I sent you this in a PDF. Um, if you need it in a different format, I can send it to you in a different format, okay? Uh, no, PDF is fine, thank you. Okay, great. Okay, are there other 
questions about the calendar. Okay, well, uh, hearing none, I'll suppose that there are no current questions on the calendar. Um, so I'll go ahead and move on to the next thing here in the outline, which is just a little bit of information on what class will actually be like uh, with this online and in-person stuff. Um, I wanted to just talk to you about, uh, and I forgot actually one thing right here. Uh, weekly expectations. Um, sort of, you've heard about it from time to time here already, but uh, I just wanted to talk to you about, you know, what you will do in a typical week, and then uh, specifically what class on Wednesdays will look like, uh, and then I want to talk about the class poll uh, that I sent out via email as well. So I'll go ahead and share this again. Okay, so here we are, weekly expectations. As you saw with the class calendar, every week you're going to have to study. Um, sorry, just checking if that was a student email or not. It was not. All right. So every week you will have to be studying either one or two sections on your own from the textbook. Um, you will also be required to, you know, finish the homework for that, for those sections uh, by Friday at 11.59 p.m. That's one minute before midnight. Um, and then the following week on Monday, you will have a quiz over those sections. The quizzes will only be, uh, you know, a couple questions and they'll be timed. But, but that's pretty much it for the expectations for you. There will be office hours on Monday and Thursday. There will be class on Wednesday. If you come to all three, you can ask me any questions you want about that about the, the, the material for that week. Uh, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions and help you learn that material during those times. Uh, but for the most part, uh, you're learning this stuff on your own. Um, they call this, this class mode a hybrid. Um, really what that means is on Wednesday we will meet, right? And uh, it's for an hour and 20. There's no way what I used to teach in two or three days, depending on the type of class, there's no way that I could teach all of that in one day a week in an hour and 20. So a lot of, of our material will just have to be learned on your own in person, uh, in, uh, uh, through your own reading. Um, with that said, on office hours times, uh, I won't have anything prepared. I'm just going to, I'm going to be here available for you to pop in and ask questions. If you want to pop in and say, Mr. Love, could you please teach me about section 1.1? I'm happy to do that. <laughs> okay. If, if you need help with that and you want it to be a, a little 20 minute lecture for you. Great. I can do that, but, but I will not have anything prepared for that. Um, I've taught this course before, both at U University of Albany and at uh, previous high schools where I worked before. So I can do that sort of thing on the spot. Uh, it, it's really no big deal, um, no matter what the topic is. So you just need to hop onto Blackboard and ask me to do that. Or uh, you can write me an email. And when I start Blackboard, I will start going through those emails and answering questions. Um, Okay, are there any questions about what office hours will look like? The office hours are on Zoom. Yes. Okay. Just like with this Zoom meeting, before I sit down for office hours, I'll send out the link to everyone, okay? Um, some of us are still working out how to get a permanent link. Uh, Zoom seems to change the, uh, the numerical passcode for the password 
that I've set. Um, that's on Blackboard, but uh, the links seem to change whenever you start a new meeting or schedule a new meeting. So if I can figure out how to make a permanent link for this meeting, you won't need to receive any emails, but until then I'll still just send you the link right before it starts. Okay, so let me move on then to structure of the in-person classes. <clears throat> so as a department, uh, the, the, the advisors above us have told us um, what to do for these in-person meetings. Um, and this is in large part due, for the, due to the fact that um, it is such a small amount of time and we cannot require attendance. And uh, there are those of us, some of us in this room that are not even in this country. Um, so we, we cannot do things in class uh, that you know, we couldn't otherwise do um, for every student, uh, which, means, which means giving a, a, a lecture on brand new material, teaching you about new things uh, in class, in person, uh, that's, that has to be limited. So the department has told us to structure our in-person classes in the way that I'll, I'll talk about now. So, uh, and I can put it right here, structure of in-person classes. So it'll basically bro be broken into two parts. The first part is essentially uh, answering quick questions. Okay, so you come into class, you have a problem, uh, maybe something from homework that you weren't able to do, or maybe you're having a problem with the class in general. Maybe you can't find something on Blackboard or you missed an email and you need me to send it again, whatever that is, uh, I'll just answer quick questions. Um, this will not be like black or like a blackboard or not, not what I meant, like uh, office hours. This is not where I could say lecture on section 1.1. 1 .1. um, this will just be quick questions that you've got related to the class. Um, they, you know, our advisors told us maybe this will take no time, maybe this will take 20 minutes, who knows, but this will take as long as it, it needs to take. Um, and then the next part is prepared examples and recitation. Um, so what this means, recitation and prepared examples, is before the in-class time, uh, I'm gonna go through the book uh, for the sections that you're supposed to be, in, you're supposed to study that week for homework. So for this first week, that's sections 1.1 and 1.2. So I'm gonna go through those two sections and I'm gonna look at what I've assigned for homework and I'm gonna look at other examples or, and other problems from the book um, and I'm gonna prepare somewhere between 10 and 20 of them. And then with my iPad and sharing the screen, I'm, just, I'm gonna start just going through tons of examples um, and when we're in person, uh, I can ask you, you know, uh, yeah, sorry to pick on AJ again, but hey, AJ, what do you think we should do at this point in the problem, you know, or, or maybe even I'll say to everyone, all right, we've done three of these now, here's the next one, you try it, you know, it'll be something like that. But it, what it will not be is it will not be a speed lecture on two to four sections of material. Um, there's just way too much material to do that in an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, and so we've been told to just to do this example and rec recitation uh, format. So in Zoom, these first two weeks, I'll record that uh, and it'll be really high quality, I think, just on the, on the iPad here. Um, in person, I will also record that, but it'll be with my laptop, pointing at the whiteboard or blackboard in Lecture Center 22. Um, and so it'll be me walking around in front of a board. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, but it'll, it'll be, this class will be the same whether we're in person or not. It'll just be answering questions and then going through those problems. Okay, um, and then, uh, sorry, let me pause and ask if there are any questions about that.
Yeah, I have a quick question. So just to Go kind of reiterate what you said to make sure I'm understanding it correctly, the only thing that we're doing in the actual physical class is just going over examples, not necessarily the actual sections of the course. Right. Those, those examples will be from those sections for that given week. Um, but we were told not to lecture new material. So lectures, it's basically just going to be like practice sessions. Yes. And then you said that all the new material is going to be covered on pre-recorded Zoom. And then are you going to post those to Blackboard? Actually, I'll get to that after this. But WebAssign uh, has professional mathematicians that create these video lectures for you. It's, it's kind of like Khan Academy. I don't know if you're familiar with Khan Academy. Um, but it's, you know, there's, if you, I'll show you this in a little bit, but you go to WebAssign and you can go to a specific section in your textbook and there's embedded videos in the textbook that will lecture on, you know, a given, a given set of paragraphs and, you know, you, you can read those paragraphs and then you can watch the video right there. Uh, and then you can, you know, go to the next few paragraphs and there'll be another video on those, um, on that material. So uh, I'm, I'm not making new videos of lectures. And those are on WebAssign, not Blackboard. Um, Blackboard is, it's great. You can do things with it, but for the most part, we'll be using WebAssign for everything. Other questions about uh, structure of classes? Okay, hearing none, I'll go ahead and move on to the last point here about the online and in-person section. Um, I sent out in one of my emails, you know, just a, a big explanation of my current situation with, uh, you know, having a kid here um, next week, probably, and uh, having to cancel the first two classes. Um, and I, I sent out a short poll asking you for just your opinion on, uh, on or your preference um, for in-person uh, versus online entirely. Um, I've heard from, I've got the count here, I've heard from three, six, eight of us so far. So I'm still waiting on uh, over, I think there's 21 of us now, so maths are hard, 21 minus eight. We've got 13 people still that need to uh, reply back to that poll. All I'm asking for is your preference for an in-person versus an online totally format. Um, what would change again is, is that in-person practice session more or less would change to an Zoom practice session. Um, you'll see this on Wednesday and next Wednesday um, and then the next Wednesday after that we're slated to be in-person. Um, no decisions have been made yet. We haven't heard from enough people really to make, uh, make a decision. Um, but my advisor said, that because my class was chosen to be in person, uh, I think by the provost or the dean, um, my advisor from the department told me to just poll you and see if, if you wanted to move online in general or not. Um, and then we can make a decision to move it all online or not. Um, so I, I don't want to influence you either way. Your preference is your preference. You're more than more than welcome to answer with what or whatever opinion you have. Um, I, I just want to hear your honest feedback on that. Um, so if you have not replied yet, uh, shoot me an email after this meeting uh, with your preference. Um, I won't tell you the numbers uh, of how many have responded one way or the other either. I don't want to influence you. Um, or uh, what, what do they say? I don't want to make you tilted one way or the other. Uh, maybe Jason knows. I know Jason's a big gamer. Is it tilted, Jason? Tilted? No, no. No, I don't, I don't want to make you tilted by saying something. So, you know, uh, if you want to find that old email, you can and reply to it, or you can send me a new email. Um, and that's it for that section. So there's only one big thing left that I wanted to talk to you about. And that's WebAssign and Blackboard. So, 
let me get that over to the screen here and share that. Okay, so this is the university's Blackboard page. Um, you'll use your username and your password for this. Um, and you'll notice that you log into this class. Maybe you can log into this class. Maybe I can log in right now. I will say Blackboard last spring was very touchy. Uh, with all of the traffic it was receiving, it was, it had a difficult time. So it, it might be in and out this semester. We will see. It's one of the reasons I'm staying away from it. But uh, this is Blackboard. If you've never used it before, there's lots of things for you that are not class specific. Um, there's notifications, there's communications, you know, from this community thing here, there's discussion boards and whatnot. Um, in order to get to your class, there are links over here on the right. Now you can see sort of my classes here. I'm also a student this fall in the graduate department, but you can see pre-calculus for me is right up here. So I can click that to get to this pre-calculus class or you can go up here and click on your name and you can find your classes listed here. So either link will work. On your mobile device, this will look and be terrible. Um, the application that you download from the store, in my opinion, is not worth the download. So I would tell you to just use a computer. Um, the mobile app has had many issues and it just is, is not really worth it. So um, I'm gonna go into student view here so that you can see exactly what you would see when you get here. You'll see on the, on the home screen a welcome, in, a welcome message for you. You'll see contact information for me, um, a lot of things that I've discussed already and some other things. Uh, my email address, which I've not given yet, uh, it's in the syllabus. My preferred method of communication is email. Um, this is the Zoom meeting information. This is my meeting ID and this is the password. I've mistyped this. But again, uh, for whatever reason, when a new meeting is created, despite the fact that I have not changed this password, it generates a new numerical passcode and that's that's caused some issues with logging in to old links so I'll send you links every time um, before the meetings um, you can find the course syllabus here that's the document I just showed you and went through at the beginning you can find the course calendar it says draft six but this is the final draft that you saw uh, it was just the sixth iteration that I went through with it um, so you can find those there and then I created and posted to YouTube a couple of, of videos. The first one is for WebAssign and how to use that. Uh, the next one is for Zoom and how to use that. For those of you here, I, you already know how to use Zoom, you're good. So this one might be the only thing, but for those of you here, you won't need to watch this because I'm about to go through that. Uh, there's nothing else on here. Course information is this. Announcements, there's nothing because I haven't made any announcements on here. Um, I'll just be making the announcements through email. Uh, I, I won't post them here unless, uh, <laughs> I don't know, unless email poses a big problem. But whenever I post a, an announcement here, it sends you an email anyway. So I, I'm probably just going to stick with email. Campus resources, there's a lot of things on here. There's online tutoring. Uh, there's the Disability Resource Center links here. There's a lot of other things for you. Uh, this is not my authorship. Or this is not uh, made by me. This is the university's uh, campus resources page for you. Uh, research guides, I've literally never been here except for preparing for this little talk. All it has is library resources. So you can go there to find things. If you need help with Blackboard, you can also click this link down here on the bottom. And it has a bunch of Op, uh, options there for you. But for the most part, everything for this class is right here on Blackboard. This, this is all that Blackboard will have. Okay, questions about Blackboard?
Okay. So the next one I wanted to talk about is Cengage's WebAssign. So Cengage is the, the big company um, that create WebAssign. WebAssign is this homework and quiz and test platform that is linked with your textbook. Um, and I saw that nine of us have already, who's drawn on the screen? Is that Jason? All right, revoking privileges. <laughs> I see some chat windows here. Oh, okay, yeah, Brendan, got it. Okay, so I answered your questions. No, there, there's nothing missing. There's just literally nothing there. <laughs> uh, Blackboard, like I said last spring, we had a lot of issues with the amount of traffic going to Blackboard. It was crashing their servers, um, and people weren't ac able to access Blackboard for the longest time. Uh, another thing for the class, since everything's on WebAssign for homework, and WebAssign has a gradebook built in, uh, I'm not using Blackboard's gradebook. It doesn't make any sense to me to transfer all of your grades from WebAssign into Blackboard. Um, there's the possibility of me accidentally typing something in wrong. There, there's, uh, there's the definite case that Blackboard's gradebook would be out of date. And since, um, since you know, WebAssign's automatically up to date and it automatically does the grades, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch Blackboard's gradebook. Um, so yeah, there's very little on Blackboard. Um, anyway, back to WebAssign. So to get here, it's just webassign.net. You can type this, you know, wa dash off slash login, and it'll bring you right to this page. Um, or you can just go to the home page, which looks like this. You can log in, and it brings you to that page you were just at. You can, if you haven't signed up yet, click enter class key, and that class key I gave you in the syllabus, Albany, four numbers, four numbers. Type them in here, click enroll, and it'll get start. It'll get you started on the whole process. You'll need to purchase a version of WebAssign, and I'll talk about those briefly here. There's two options for you. One of them is $100, and it's a semester pass. It comes with the textbook and WebAssign. Um, it comes with just our class's textbook. There's a more expensive version for 120, 130, something like this. And what it gives you is more textbooks for WebAssign. So if this semester you are taking other classes that use WebAssign, you can purchase that more expensive one and you'll be able to use both those classes or all three or four of those classes with just that one purchase. The $100 version will only give you WebAssign for this class. I hope that makes sense, okay? So if you don't have any classes besides this one that use WebAssign, the $100 version is perfect. That's all you need. But again, if you have a physics class or a chemistry class or something else that uses WebAssign um, this semester, you, get, you can get the more expensive one and spend not $200, you know, for two of these, but spend 120, 130, whatever it is. It's cheaper than buying them individually. So when you sign in, you'll see something like this, something. For me, it looks different. Um, your view will be like this. Oh, great, Cengage, learning management. All right, great. Yours will look like this. Okay, you'll see home, my assignments, grades, communication calendar, my eBooks. Um, <clears throat> you can already see every single assignment for the whole semester is up. Okay, there's 36 of them and they're all open. I already know that one of you who's currently here on this Zoom meeting has done something on this first one. Um, the last time I checked, they had already done one problem. So again, you can do these at your own pace. Feel free to do them ahead of time. Um, I'm not gonna hold you back on homework. The only thing I will hold you back on are the quizzes and the tests. Those will have to be during their scheduled times. Um, okay. Now there are, it's easy to, to get your homework. You just click these links. 
but there are other things which I wanted to make you aware of. You can see if you scroll down the class textbook. So I'll take you there. This is where you'll be doing your studying. Um, chapter one. You just click on the chapter that you need to be studying and it'll just open it up right away. Okay. Now I think that I've actually been reading this before, so it's not on the first page. Let me literally go to the first page. Um, so as I said, you can read the section page by page, and then you can watch these videos that are embedded. So these videos are made by the Cengage professionals, and they are video lectures of these sections. They'll have example problems in there. They'll have the theory in there. Um, I would recommend reading and watching those videos. Um, okay. There are other uh, other things that you can get to. Um, you can see your grade book here. You can see communication. This is where you will request extensions for things. You can create a new message to me if you want. Um, let me let me show you how to make an extension. Oh, here's your grade. If you have anything yet, let me go into an assignment and I'll show you something. So currently I've not done a thing, but let's see. I'm going to go here, section 1.1. Um, right here, you can see request extension. Um, if the due date has passed within that first week after, you can request an extension. So just click that. Notice that it's automatic or manual. Um, it says manual extensions are not active. But it says automatic extensions are only available for, for past due assignments. So after Friday night, you can click this automatic extension. There will be a button down here that you can push. You will get it automatically. Okay. Um, and that'll be that, okay? You don't have to actually send me an email for that first one. <clears throat> um, you can see that web assign just has, you know, answers like this, answers that you type in, um, answers that are drop down. You, you just answer the questions on web assign and then at the very, very, very bottom, you can submit the whole thing. You can also submit them question by question. So notice I, if I select an answer here, I can click submit answer and it'll grade that question for me, okay? And notice it did not grade this first part. So I can submit individual sections of individual questions individually. Now you get multiple attempts for questions, okay? I believe that I've set it to, it might be five attempts per question. Um, you can see previous answers that you've given. Okay. Um, Web Assign is a great tool. If you've never used it before, I'd, I'd tell you, please um, look through it a little bit and uh, see what it has to offer for you. Um, it really is a great tool. Um, there are other things that I want to bring to your attention that are way down here at the bottom. There are resources and a personal study plan. The personal study plan has every single chapter. I cannot limit what you see here. We will only be doing the first seven chapters, but let me just show you one of these things because this is really great. Um, in this personal study plan, you can take practice quizzes. So you can go in here and as many times as you want, just take practice quizzes. This is great. Uh, it's a great way to study for tests that are coming up or quizzes that are coming up. Just come in here and, and do a couple practice quizzes. Um, you can do it for every single section of every single chapter of the book. There's a tutorial here as well that you can get into. You can take a chapter quiz if you want to practice for the whole chapter. Um, and it'll show you, you know, your results here as well. Um, this is a, a great resource for you. The other thing that I wanted to show you is the resources tab. Now this is all of the resources from the book um, 
but in a different format. So let me just expand fundamentals here. You can see that there are PowerPoint uh, files here. These are the PowerPoint, PowerPoint slideshows that a professor can use for lectures. Um, so if you open these up, you'll see a, a traditional lecture slideshow, but there's no one talking over it, right? So you'll just have to read between the lines there for some of it. The thing that I wanted to show you more importantly is you can also access all of the videos here. Um, and you might be asking, why would you show me this? They're already embedded in the book. Yes, they are, but not all of them. So there are two authors and sometimes more that made videos for Cengage. Kaz Mirchak is the one that's always in the textbook. His videos are embedded. Mosley and other author, authors, they are not in the textbook. So if you want to see other videos from the chapter, say you don't like Kaz Mirchak's accent, I don't know, whatever. You can go in here, uh, as I showed you where, where to go, you can go down to the very bottom of your WebAssign homepage, select the textbook resources, go to the chapter you want. And when you get here, you can select the chapter, you can select the section, and if you expand these videos here on the left, you can watch whichever videos you want. Um, there's a transcript, so you can read what they say as well. Um, but there are more videos than what are just embedded in the textbook for you, and I wanted to make you aware of that. Okay, let me go somewhere where there might be more authors even. Just randomly start looking. These two do most of it. Here we go. So there's even other things at times. So they might have gone through and animated something. So let's play. Look, there's a circle at the, at the center of the graph. So there's all these silly little things that maybe, you know, no one cares about, but, you know, animating a little circle on the coordinate plane. Um, these are other, you know, uh, resources for you, or maybe even other videos. Okay. Are there other questions about WebAssign? Are there questions? Brendan, I saw you sent me a file. What is in that file? I can't see it. You're not sure. Okay. Oh, oh, never mind. I'm, I'm misinterpreting, sorry, Brendan. I'm misinterpreting WebAssign's, uh, or sorry, Zoom's chat. I have the ability to send you a file. You did not send me a file. Okay, sorry. Okay, well, are there questions about WebAssign? Excuse me. Yes, Sha uh, Shaq. Um, I would, the school will purchase in my books. So what would I do? Like, would I just get the physical book from the school and just use it, then just use it separately or I'll ask them to get the payment and just pay for it on WebAssign. Yeah, so you do not need a physical book. Yeah. Um, if someone is paying for your book for you, uh, I don't see anything wrong with getting a physical book. Uh, if, if they're, if they're going to fund it for you anyway, and if you want that physical book, then go for it. Um, but what you do need is you do need this, this web assign. Okay. Yeah. So that you have to have. Um, so what I would do is I would email the, your contact, the person, whoever, you know, uh, buys the books for you or gets things for you and send them my course syllabus and tell them that they're the information to, let me see if I can find that here real quick. Uh, tell them the information in here, right here. Yeah, they need to go to this website. They need to use this class key. 
they need to use your email and your password for your school address um, in order to buy the book for you online. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yep. Um, Shaq, if, if you'd rather email them and carbon copy me or CC me on that email so that they can contact me as well, uh, that's fine. Okay. Okay. I'll, all right. I'll do that. Great. Yeah. Good question. Thanks, Shaq. Yeah. Anyone else? Uh, yeah, I have a quick question. Yes, Nick. Um, so regarding like the quizzes and exams, but mainly the uh, quizzes since there's, we're going to be encountering more of them. Uh, you say they're going to be open for like a certain window. Like I assume they're going to be open on Mondays, if yes. I'm correct. Yep. And then they'll be due on Monday at the 1159, right? Yep. Okay. Um, for the... For those of us that are overseas, um, so I'll have them open for a full 24 hours. Okay, uh, it'll be Eastern Standard Time, 12.01 a.m. to Eastern Standard Time, 11.59 p.m. So it'll be actually not a full 24 hours, you do the math there, uh, 23 hours and 58 minutes. But when you wake up that day, wherever you're at in the world, uh, you'll have you know, that daytime. Uh, almost all of that daytime to, to work on it, okay? And, and they won't take long. The quizzes I'm gonna schedule, uh, they should not take more than 10 minutes. Uh, they'll only be a few questions, sometimes just two questions, okay? okay thanks, Nick, for your question. Are there other questions about WebAssign, Blackboard? Okay, if there are other questions, now I'm just gonna open it up here for the last part of this time. I, I noticed that we're at 11.23 here, so we're three minutes over when I wanted to stop, but um, this is just a general discussion time with you. So if you have anything to say or want to ask any questions about anything for the class, or if you want to just get to know your fellow peers here in the room, um, or me, uh, now is the chance, now's your chance to do that here. Um, so. I'll just open it up. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and trim the silence off the video that I eventually post to YouTube. Uh, I, I think you can in chat or you can just, you know, use your microphone and, and say something. If you don't have any questions, just let me know and I can end this meeting. Uh, we can all end our meeting. So does anyone have any questions? Anyone from Cayuga Hall? Not me. I think we're I think we're all set. Thank you. It was an informative meeting. I, yeah. I will see you soon. Okay. See you, Brandon. Thank you for everything. Appreciate it. You're welcome, AJ. I'll see you around. See you.